The Wildlife Let me be honest with you guys. For many months, I've had people asking me if I would ever review this film over and over, and I've tried my best to ignore it. I always pass this off as some foreign animated kids flick that'll either just earn a small limited run in theaters or go direct to home video. That's it. Why bother even acknowledging it, right? But as time moved on, it would appear more frequently than I expected. More trailers popping out of nowhere, posters prominently shown, and the moment that I saw its presence at my local theater, that's when I have to accept the harsh truth. I gotta review this film. So, as you can tell, I'm not particularly enthusiastic about this one. But will the wildlife find a way to break through my expectations with something special? Or will it leave me as stranded as Crusoe? Let's find out. The Story Loosely based on the adventures of Robinson Crusoe, the film looks into the relationship between Crusoe and the animals, which the latter are the stars of this feature. However, I cannot tell you how this movie is executed in the most boring way possible. Even though it tries to present itself as this fun-filled adventure, it actually barely does anything exciting. It focuses so much on the development of the animal's friendship with Crusoe from thinking he's a monster to an ally, yet the film gives us absolutely nothing to have us engage on what's going on or even care about the characters and how they feel. In fact, all they do from what I can try to remember is that they try to build a treehouse, uh, they gather food, uh, what else, Crusoe tries to fix Mac's wing, and... Ah, crap, I can't remember. Well, I suppose you can guess the rest from there. It does attempt to throw in some action by having the gang be attacked by cats on several occasions, but they end up being poorly executed and repetitive that it would take all the excitement away. Not only are their foes just some rather unthreatening cats, but the end result on each of these moments follow the same pattern. There's a lot of chasing, random comedic antics ensue, destruction, and a fire with explosions. This could be more complicated than I thought. Well, that's a bit of a bummer, mate. Speaking of the comedy, that element can be rather questionable. For the most part, the tone of the film is very tame. So much so that it really becomes questionable if their mannerisms and actions are done to be funny. Either way, it's near impossible to get any sort of laugh from this. The only time that I can tell that the characters are trying to do a joke is when they do the stupid stuff like a character acting dumb or pure lowbrow humor. By the way, did I forget to mention how easily predictable this film can be? Since it gives you nothing to invest yourself into this, it is easy to point out the outcome of what will happen to Crusoe, Mac, and his friends. With that in mind, with a dull plot like this, it only makes those 90 minutes feel like they're going at a snail's pace. When a story becomes barely interesting, barely engaging, and obviously predictable as this, would this even be considered a story at all? The Animation Out of everything that this film has to offer, the animation is possibly the most tolerable thing here. Well, sometimes. I will give this credit that even with an extremely low budget, it does look nice at first glance. The textures seem to look very polished and the effects can be quite impressive. From the water in the ocean to the fur and scales of the animals and the rocks and plants are very well rendered out. Even the character designs actually look pretty good as well giving them a more realistic edge to both the animals and the people like Crusoe. But I will say that, yeah, it can rather look generic at the same time. These are the kind of designs that look more impressive in an animator's portfolio than it does for a feature film. Although well crafted, the generic style is making this movie lack any sort of uniqueness or even memorability in terms of the visuals. Sadly, for the case of the film, this is where the good points end. You may hear from a lot of people that this looks like something out of a directed DVD film. Well, that is because of the character animation. Even though they look nice, the way that they move feels rather choppy, and it doesn't help either that they don't move a lot either. It wants to stay limited to the capabilities of how these animals can actually move, but they don't do anything that stands out or seems fun. This can really be a problem when you factor in the action scenes, 
The moments that require the animators to give it their all in terms of their capabilities and creativity. Unfortunately, like I said before, since these scenes are dull because they're just being chased by a bunch of cats and repeat the same moments over and over, it's supposed to look interesting with the capabilities of the animals like the armadillo and the chameleon, but it still ends up being unengaging. Also, for some reason other than to be annoying, this movie still thinks we're in 2010. Why? So it's going to be a swell demonstration and at no time will we be stooping to any cheap 3D tricks. Did you say cheap 3D tricks? Uh... <gasps> 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 It doesn't help either that even the areas they're stuck in is very limited as well. All you got is a generic island and a shipwreck, and even those places feel like they lack identity. Like there's no sense of beauty in the island, or a sense of grim and despair in the shipwreck. There are times I will admit that it can be visually pleasing at first glance, but not even that is enough to make the animation look like it's meant to be straight to DVD. The characters. If I have to point out the reason why this movie can be insufferably boring, it would have to be the characters. This is the kind of film that's supposed to be all about them and their friendship with the new stowaway, but each offer either very little or absolutely nothing. Now, I'm gonna say this now that I'll only be using pictures to show the characters. I actually have very limited resources in terms of videos, and I don't want to repeat the same clips too many times. But that should really say something that even the marketers show absolutely no care for this. Starting with Mac, or Tuesday, or whatever the fridge you want to call him, he's the dreamer that wants to see the world outside of the island, Kiki is the one who doubts Crusoe the most, but also looks out for Mac, Robinson Crusoe is the bumbling moron with a good heart, and the cats May and Mal are the Team Rocket style villains, where one is smarter than the other, who want to kill off Crusoe and his friends. Not much else can really be said about them, since all of them are the dull trope whose only purpose is to bring that little thing that they call a story somewhere so that it doesn't just sit there. I will give them credit, however, that at least they can offer SOMETHING! When it comes to Mac's friends, they offer nothing! They don't even have a personality of their own! All they do is just react to Mac's antics and slap a single small trait like the old goat, the fat tapir, and the worrying echidna. Out what these newcomers' intentions are. Look, he stripped off his skin. It's hideous. Ooh, I'm going to be sick. Uh oh. I think they're supposed to deliver the humor, but the comedy is nearly non existent that their entire purpose is questionable. The only possible good thing I could find to say regarding this is that at least there's nothing truly hateable about them. At the most that I can imagine is that some people could get annoyed by Mac, because he's also the narrator that pops up from time to time, since this is all supposed to be in his point of view. They don't really offer anything that would be considered bad, but that's their biggest problem. They give us NOTHING! There's no reason to care about anybody! They legit killed off one of them, and not a single crap can be given. So much so that I don't think even the characters themselves even care. I see a bunch of animals running around with an idiot, but I'm having a really hard time finding a character. The Wildlife is the most boring movie of the year. So much so that I can even consider it one of the most dull animated films of the decade. The story is entirely unengaging, the animation looks like something out of a cheap $5 bin, the characters barely have any sort of personality, and it completely lacks any sort of substance. There is absolutely nothing worth remembering in this film. In fact, I remember more when I went to the bathroom, read a review of this, and texting my friend more than the movie itself. I know I was breaking some theater ethics, but it doesn't count when literally no one was watching it with me! I can only recommend you guys to just skip this movie entirely. There is nothing to gain by watching this film. And what's even worse is that there's nothing that's even memorably bad about it. You know when you fail as a movie so much that people will remember Norm of the North and Nine Lives before you. The only thing I'll remember about this is that it's nothing but a dull movie that got the Animat seal of garbage.
Are you tired of ordering things online where you know what you'll get? Did you completely forget about everything I said the first time I showed up? Hi, Anime's here once again with Loot Anime, the number one way to get your anime stuff through the mail. I thought I was done by doing this commercial, but somehow this actually came into my mailbox. I was honestly really surprised about it, so I might as well make another one. You can guarantee that the people at Loot Crate will take care of your stuff. Except for the Postal Service. Seriously, they didn't even do a single thing to take care of it. I mean, you, you can see right here, like, it's completely open and the side is like, all open, all messed up. Like, they, they really screwed up the box, seriously. Thank you so much, Postal Service. You freaking jerks. Alright, now with that said, let's just hope that nothing in here is completely destroyed. I see it's an anime. It's like a tin of sun. What the? Oh, whoa. Oh! Oh, it's a Oh, now I see. Oh! Oh my god, you got chopsticks? Oh! It's a thing to put your food in! Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Oh, and it stacks up one by one. Oh! Oh, wow, that's clever. Oh, that's neat. Oh, and you can store... Oh. Oh, that's actually... You know, oh, and, and it even has this... Oh, okay, so, like, you put this over here, and it keeps everything. Oh, wow. You know, this is actually really cool. Oh, too bad I don't even know what this is. Some kind of Sailor Moon thing, I think? I don't know, it has multicolored hair. And the next thing we got right here is apparently a box. No, it's not a box. Is this a tie? It's it's a tie, isn't it? Apparently, well, it's from Danga Dangar Dangar Dang Dangar Dangan Dangan Ronpa Dangan Ronpa. Okay, there we go. Yes, it is a tie. My God. Okay, I don't know how to put on a tie, so screw it. I'm just gonna put it on just lazily like this. Here, here, I'm gonna hide. Here, I'm actually gonna hide this part here. There, no one will know. I professionally put on a tie. There. Don't I look snazzy? Assassination classroom. Magnetic dry and eraser board. Oh. Oh, cool. So you got this thing going on. So like you got a bunch of magnets and you can just write things on it. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Okay. Well, we got this thing. Oh, wow. So apparently you can also get stuff that's... Not even based on any sort of anime, it's just that, yeah. Oh, wow. On top of that, you can also get exclusive mangas, which one example right here is of Persona 3. I've actually heard a lot of stuff about Persona, so it's actually interesting that we actually got some recognizable mangas. Well, it is based on school stuff from what I see in the theme here, so it makes sense that you also get books as well. So I see what we got here, it's Digimon Adventure Try, which is definitely fantastic because finally I opened an anime that I actually recognize now. Oh, okay, oh no. Oh, they're just postcards. Oh. Uh, I thought I was gonna get the movie, but no, I got, I, I got postcards. This one is actually pretty cool. This one taps into my nostalgia the most. I mean, so I got probably Loot Crate exclusive little chibi characters. But yeah, it's the same thing as that little notepad. It's that I got little chibi keychains. You got this, here we go. Well, let's put it in the light a bit. This amazing poster, I don't even know what this is. What the heck is it? Well, either way, you also got a lot of information regarding about the stuff that you received. And on top of that, the box actually says something that apparently you could take this box and you can even turn it into a little desk. That would actually be very nice, but does it have any any information regarding if my box is freaking busted? Seriously, look, look at this. This is look at this. This is this is a problem. Like th th this is supposed to be connected together, man. I I can't even do that. But yeah, even though but yeah, this is just to say. Hopefully, this is just my box. You're not gonna get that box. 
but when you get this box, you can actually do something with it. So it's actually a product as much as those things. And if you think that is cool, you can also get something in your computer. With your order of loot anime, you can actually get a free month subscription of Crunchyroll Premium. Which no, it is not a physical thing, although I do wish it was, because that actually sounds delicious. In fact, a Crunchyroll would actually go perfect inside this tin, you know? Actually, it would make, like, I, I would like a Crunchyroll right now. It would actually make it useful for this. But I'm not done yet! Order right now through the link below, and you'll receive a 10% discount if you put in the promo code EDP. This month's theme for loot anime is the Demi-Human. Half human, half whatever Japan can think of. This will feature great animes like Bleach, One Punch Man, Twin Star Exorcist, and Tokyo Ghoul. Checking the mail has never been as kawaii as this. Order now. To order your monthly subscription of Loot Anime and receive your 10% discount by entering the promo code EDP, go to lootcrate.com slash EDP now.